Women are half the population and 50% of the workforce in most advanced economies. However, they have still not achieved parity with men in companies' chair roles. Surveying 14,500 companies worldwide, women represent on average only 11% of board directors. Women hold 17% of senior management roles in America's 100 largest companies. The equivalent figures for Europe and Asia are just 11% and 4%. Globally, women hold 24% of senior management roles. Men that run the present business world have a fundamental role along with women in tackling the transformation of this male-dominated pattern. Several studies show how companies with more women on their boards and senior executive teams achieve better results. This is leading the principal companies to encourage women's advancement and entice them to put their talent at the company's service. At the same time, the current technological and social changes entail a larger distribution of power. A cooperative and independent work is required, facing a dominating and hierarchic leadership. The concept of soft power, coined to define political leadership based on persuasion and not on coercion, is now making headway in the business world. Highly valued leaders tend to be the most empathetic, adaptable and motivating ones, some characteristics traditionally related to women, without renouncing the determination when needed, encouraging the participation and the collaboration will undoubtedly improve the results. Neither is it that large companies can set aside the fact that technology has transformed the traditional working models as to availability and presence of the workers and the possibilities of small-sized enterprises to compete in the global market. This transformation facilitates the incorporation of women in business and offers men the opportunity to share the family responsibilities, something beneficial for the society itself. In order to speed up the changes for gender parity announced by these biases, it is necessary for leaders to get actively involved and for their companies to reflect the reality of the population, facilitate flexibility, and offer all of these information to the society with transparency. Filling the gender gap entails challenges that governments and society have to accept. Inasmuch as, only if women can develop all their potential, a real economic and social progress will be produced in the 21st century. Besides, a gender power shift in the making. Do you want to know what other challenges the digital era company is rising to? Find out with this book.